there so today we're going to be testing out some fabulous well we don't know if it's fabulous we'll be finding out uh so yeah i've got some primark makeup that we're going to be testing out today okay so i made an effort to be all festive and okay i'm the first to say it looks crap i know it looks crap but i just wanted to make an effort because all the other YouTubers have got like fabulous light displays in the background, candles are blazing, and then this is me. I mean, I actually got this from eBay. I didn't get the lantern. I got the light thing from eBay, and it's meant to go inside like a glass bottle and look all fancy and stylish. I just popped it inside this broken lamp and hope for the best, and it looks I know it does, I know. I just feel like I have to do something. Even if it's maybe not the best effort, it's something, you know. But anyway, also just before we get into the video, I have to once again just show off my fantastic, sassy, sequin slippers. Honestly, guys, these were £5 and I am getting so much joy from them today we're going to be testing out the insta girl face perfecting stick this was two pounds fifty and this is meant to like smooth out your pores magically we've also got the skin frost cream highlighter I have a super matte liquid lipstick in the shade kim which i think i've tried before but i'm not too sure we also have the ampli Fied mascara giving you a little bit of an update on this rose powder which i've been testing out a little bit it's actually getting a bit distracted by the fabulous festive situation going on behind me because i mean it's fabulous and by the way yes my hair is looking a little bit green right now it's just tingy green it's like multicolored i mean i have no idea what my hair is doing right now but do I ever know? Okay, so we're going to begin with the Face Perfecting Stick. This is meant to be a balm to prime skin and minimise the appearance of pores. I'm going to be using my Fresh and Fit Foundation from Essence because I'm quite familiar with this foundation now and I'll be able to judge whether my pores look in any way minimised by this a stick. I've never tried anything like this before. I know that Estee Lauder brought a kind of pore minimizing stick out not so long ago and I was dying to try it but it was expensive so I didn't. Okay so this is what the stick looks like. It's literally just a white colored stick. I feel like as opposed to kind of rubbing it in I'm just going to kind of smooth it over the pores. So okay so here's my face. By the way my skin was getting a lot better but I've broken out a little bit in recent days which is not very festive is it I mean really okay so as you can see I've got loads of pores around my nose and just like on the inside of my cheeks and also just in the middle of my forehead so I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna get the magic happening let's get this fecking magic oh okay so you can see like a little bit's come off there so I'm just gonna use my finger just to kind of blend it blend it in which actually I believe should I do one side with this and one side without and then we can really see okay I'm going to do that so I'm going to do my right hand side with the stick and I'm going to leave the left hand side bare okay great idea Anwen okay so I mean it feels pretty like emollient a little goes a long way it's uh, very kind of easy to spread it just like it's very slippy okay so i'm just kind of smoothing it on with my finger just so that it can kind of smooth into the pores if you kind of use a rubbing motion with uh you know pore filling products it, a lot of the time you won't get the full kind of uh you know benefit i'm going to use my finger to actually get this out i'm going to pop it over on this side it feels really nice going on it's, it's very smooth and it feels very silky i don't think you can actually see much of a difference at this point but i'm just gonna apply a little bit more okay so i don't know if i'm just imagining it but i definitely do feel like this side looks to be a bit smoother than this side yeah okay so i feel like that's what my eyes are seeing right now 
I could be wrong, it could just be an illusion, but I do definitely feel like this side looks smoother. Leave the other side just for testing purposes. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation, and then I'll be back and we can see if we can notice any kind of significant difference between the two sides. Okay, so I just went away, I did my eyebrows and just gave the foundation time just to settle in on my face and I've been having a good look and if anything I feel like my pores are more kind of noticeable over on this side. I feel like when I had like no foundation on and it was just the um where is it? Where the fuck did it go? Oh, here. It was right in front of me. I feel like when I had bare skin, uh, pre-applying my foundation, this seemed to minimise my pores. However, now that I've got my foundation on, I can't really tell any difference whatsoever. Um, and I don't know if that's just down to the foundation that I wear, but yeah, I can't see any difference so I feel like I'm gonna maybe test it out a little bit more but just based on this first impression I couldn't really recommend this um, because it doesn't seem to have really um, you know made any difference uh, between this you know the side that doesn't have it, any of it on and then the side that's got itself on so what the fuck do you do you've definitely not you know, done anything magical to my face. So I'll of course be testing this out and if my views do change on it then I will kind of update the comments down below. But yeah, for now it's a no. By the way, I have a bit of a sore throat today. So if I sound like I'm some kind of, you know, 40 a day smoker, I've not taken up smoking. It's just that I have a really sore throat but anyway okay so next i'm gonna set my face with this rose powder this is meant to be a setting powder that brightens up your face this cost me four pounds and as you can see it's kind of like a light pink kind of shade so i have actually been testing this out over the past few days because i just felt like this doesn't make for the most fun first impression you know just testing out setting powder so i just thought i would test it out in my own time and then come back once i had my, a view on it and my view of this is that i really really like it i think as a setting powder it's really beautiful it's extremely kind of finely milled but without being powdery or chalky it just does a really good job of setting the face and i also feel like it does a good job of like minimizing pores a little bit i definitely love the product i think for four pounds it's an absolute bargain i don't know if it actually does brighten up my face because i tend to use a lot of kind of dewy founded liations and you know i'm loving my kind of highlight so i can't really say categorically if i feel like it does brighten up my face but what i can say is i really like it as a setting powder i think it's a little bit different and for four pounds i don't think you can go wrong with it so this is a winner 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 for me okay so oh no i've just set over where i was going to put cream highlight take me to jail right now put the handcuffs on that was a crime against makeup application there's going to be people coming for me in the comments you set your face before putting on the cream highlight i mean really i mean fecking really but look my christmas decoration just distracts you i mean really the next we're going to test out the super matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade kim I believe that I have tried this before and I really loved the shade of it. It's a really beautiful kind of light pinky peachy nude. Um, but if I remember correctly, I didn't like the formula. However, since I tested this out, which was probably getting on to two years ago, I've tried a lot more liquid lipsticks. So I feel like now maybe I have a bit more of like a benchmark for what is very dry and what is not so dry also my lips are as dry as a nun's vagina right now
okay so this is what it looks like at this point it kind of looks very glossy to me but it does describe itself as a super matte so i'm going to be very disappointed if it doesn't dry matte um i'm loving the color of it but what i am going to do i'm going to stop talking because i can see i'm talking it's not dry and it's kind of coming off so give me two minutes i'm going to let this dry down and i'll be back been sat here for about three minutes and as you can see it has almost kind of um let me get a bit closer it's almost dried down to a mat but look i i i'm getting flashbacks to last time i tried this i don't know if it's just because uh this is a very kind of light shade that there's you know an obvious demarcation line and it's kind of flaking away a bit but it feels very dry i don't like the fact that it's kind of really emphasizing all the lines on my lips and can you see what I mean like that's not like my favorite I've got plenty of liquid lipsticks that don't you know look so dry and cracky on my lips so um yeah I can very quickly say that I don't really like this I don't like the formula I know it's super uh, kind of inexpensive but for me I would rather pay a little bit more and get a a liquid lipstick that is going to you know kind of complement my lips and make them look you know plump and you know I want them to look matte but I don't want them to look you know cracky and full of lines and like a baboon's ass you know so I mean this is a complete fail for me I do not like it sadly I think the shade of it is beautiful it reminds me a lot of Skin Tight by Jeffree Star but um yeah i just i just, i'm not a fan she is not a fan that's a hard pass for me okay but i'm going to leave it on and we can just you know see how it goes along for the rest of the video but next we're going to move into the highlighting portion this is the uh, skin frost it's a stick kind of cream highlighter it looks to be a little bit kind of duochrome it looks sensational i wasn't going to get this until i swatched it and I was like, in the basket it goes. Look at that. I mean, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love kind of cream highlighters either on their own for like a very natural kind of wet look glow. And I also think they work great as a base for a powder highlight just to really get things a popping on your cheeks. Okay, so let's just pop the bad boy on. I know everyone gets really kind of uh, worried about cream kind of products fecking around with your foundation underneath but I think as long as you kind of go in fairly light handed um, you shouldn't have too much of an issue. Another thing that you can do if you're a little bit terrified is just use your finger to uh, take off the product and then you can just kind of tap it on like this. Okay, so I think it looks really, really pretty. Do I think it's the most kind of intense, kind of blinding highlight in the world? Probably not. Um, but I'm loving the kind of duochrome, you know, kind of aspect to it. It's a beautiful kind of pinky, kind of lilac-y kind of shade. I, I don't feel like it's giving me a whole lot, um, but this was three pounds. I you know, when I think of it as £3 worth of highlight, I don't think it's all that bad. Um, I feel like it has slightly disrupted the founded liation, you know, underneath the highlight. But I don't think it's terrible. Do I think it's fabulous? No. Would I recommend it? No. I feel like maybe on a no makeup day, just on bare skin, this could potentially be beautiful if you just use like a tiny amount just to add a little bit of like duochrome glowy gorgeousness to your face but i don't think like it's my favorite really no no i kind of don't love it guys i mean i like it from a distance it's like a 20 yarder you know sometimes like if you spot what you think is like a super hot guy from 20 yards away and then he gets up close and you're kind of like 
no 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 not today sorry that's a 20 yarder and i feel like yeah this is definitely like a 20 yarder um up close i don't know i'm just not loving it guys um i probably would not recommend this uh just because i just i don't know i, I just wouldn't recommend it but like you could definitely see even though I, I kind of like you know applied it very gently with my finger it definitely has still effect around with my foundation underneath which is quite frankly unacceptable so this one fecking no it's lucky that I don't have a cat because I feel like if I had a cat, the cat would have just, you know, been casually wandering in, wanting a little bit of a cuddle. And then I would have just knocked it out with that. So it's very lucky I do not have a cat right now. Okay, so next and finally, the final product, we're going to be testing out the mascara. I have tried two mascaras from Primark and I've loved them both. Let me show you. In my last testing out Primark video, I tried the False Lash Effect Mascara. I love this. I use it all the time. It's fecking awesome. So I have very, very high expectations for this one. It was £2. And I'm just going to go ahead, apply this. By the way, my lips, oh my gosh, to say that they're as dry as a nun's vagina now is a little bit of an understatement. Oh, and look at that, like nobody wants their lips to look cracked. I mean, I, I just don't like it, guys. I do not like it. Not for me. Not today, Satan. Not today. So let's have a look at, oh, the wand. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Better Than Sex wand from Too Faced because it kind of is like an eight shape. So it kind of goes in in the middle. It looks like it's got, yeah, like rubber bristles. This claims to give definition, volume and lift. Doesn't every fecking mascara, I'm getting to the point now with mascaras where I'm like, oh, what a surprise. It claims to give definition and fecking volume and, and lift. I mean, really? Okay, so this is actually applying really, really beautifully so far. I feel like all of those little kind of rubber bristles are doing a great job of giving me definition i'm eating my words now but i mean that's just what it does i mean this looks really good i'm kind of loving it and i'm loving the way that there is a nice amount of product you know on the one because i found like i don't know why but recently i found that a lot of mascaras that i've tested don't seem to actually pick up a lot of the uh, formula so then you end up just like constantly in and out and in and out kind of like you know a porn star you're just in and out and in and out i don't feel like it's given me a whole lot of volume but i do feel like it's given me a lot of um lift a lot of definition and a little bit of length i feel like with mascaras you get either like really good volume or really good length and definition because i feel like to get good volume you need it to be a little bit clumpy and usually like with a mascara that's going to give you definition you want that to kind of spread out your lashes so i feel like that's why i always use two mascaras like i have a mascara collaboration every time i apply mascara because i'll use a volumizing one and then a defining or lengthening one and that seems to give me like the best of both worlds but i've yet to find a mascara that kind of does everything perfectly even my beloved lash princess you know okay so we are just doing the uh, finger technique okay okay so once again primark have created a wonderful mascara i would definitely say this one is extremely fecking lengthening look at that uh, for me there's not much in the way of like a volume but the length oh feck yes if you want to get like a really super amazing mascara for like such a low price primark in my opinion primark do some of the best and most affordable mascaras ever i've tried three now and i've loved them all this one is the amplified and i definitely say this one is more about the length and definition also got the false false <laughs> okay i've got the false lash effect this one's more about the volume you know the big bit of booty twerking away in front of your eyes what what am i even talking about i don't know i'm obsessed with big booties by the way who doesn't love 
a great big booty just twerking away. I mean, really, I would love that to have a big booty just twerking away like, yeah. Anyway, that's enough about my booty. But I think that these are both brilliant. And yeah, I definitely recommend. Amplified is joining the false lash effect in my makeup bag because I will be wearing that a lot more. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I'm really sorry. I know it's been like so long. I hope that you don't mind. And I really do appreciate you spending some of your precious time with me today. I've really enjoyed it and I hope that you have too. I absolutely love making these videos. I'm sorry if my um, voice has been a little bit funny today, but I'm not feeling the best. But I have just been so cheered up by doing the video. I am going to be doing a part two of testing out Primark makeup very soon because I've still got a load of products to try. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I'm going to go check out the description for all of the product information and I will be back soon with more. Bye guys. I got my sequin slippers bringing me so much joy. Joy to the world, joy to the world. Look at the Christmas tree